The following is a production of New Mexico State University. High in the Rocky Mountain foothills of Boulder, Colorado, lives a true garden innovator. Jim Knopf is one of the pioneers of modern xeriscaping and author of Waterwise Landscaping. Recently, he gave me an insider's look at his home garden. Jim, I, I like your shade here in the Southwest. Shade is a valuable commodity. And sometimes it takes a while to grow a tree. It looks like you found a quicker way to make your shade here. Yes, this was a lot faster than growing a tree. The, the principal idea here was not so much the shade in this case, but that's a very good point to make. In this case, I was interested in uh, creating a little shelter from the neighbor's kitchen windows. And because of the terrain, you can walk underneath this. Yeah, that was a su surprising benefit, was the idea of what happened was dividing the backyard into two separate spaces, and it's made it much more interesting than when it was just one wide open space. And you say you've got a special trick to help us be able to grow bulbs and things in our buffalo grass lawns. Yes, there, there's a couple little things here. One of them is that you can use bulbs, especially, especially in buffalo grass, where it takes a while to get going in the spring, but the bulbs are blooming and it looks good. Problem I had was deer kept eating the bulbs. Will you show us how you deal with that? I'd be happy to. I see a nice patch of buffalo grass here. Yeah, this, this patch is doing real well in the chicken wire. Let me tell you about this. There were two things in mind with the chicken wire. First of all, I was experimenting with planting early, middle, and late crocuses in the lawn because they'll be blooming uh, and give a lot of color when the buffalo grass is still brown. Buffalo grass <laughs> takes about a month longer to turn green than bluegrass, for example. It's worked beautifully, but the problem I had was the deer kept eating the crocus blossoms. And I put the chicken wire down because they don't like walking on it. It worked perfectly. The other part that I found was very successful is by the time you need to mow the leaves on the, uh, of the crocuses, they've grown long enough and they multiply beautifully. So the timing with the coloring of the grass and the mowing and everything has worked out just as a wonderful experiment. So buffalo grass is a really good grass to use if you want to plant bulbs in the lawn. Yes, um, or the other way around. <laughs> Growing <laughs> okay. the lawn and then trying to find a way to make it look good in that period in the spring when it isn't quite ready to look good yet. Well, Jim, let's get busy and get this wire spread out over the area we need to protect here. Straighten it out here. Yeah, I just flatten it out a little bit to get the wrinkles out of it. And then it doesn't need to be staked or anything, just to something like this. Actually, a little bit of buckling is, is good in it because it, if it's completely flat down, the flowers will stick up through the wire and they can come through and eat it. The main thing is they don't like walking on it and apparently when they feel it either with their noses uh, or when their hooves hit it, they back off. They can't see it very well and just don't like what they're running into. Well Jim, looks like we got it done and this is a kind of tip that would be really useful to our viewers. Thank you for showing it to us and thanks for the tour of this beautiful garden. Oh, you're welcome. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.